Hey guys, this is Austin, and today Mystery Tech is featuring a watch band for AirPods. The perfect friend, keep your AirPods in the Alago wrist fit easily and securely. So the idea here is that this is an Apple watch band that you can also use your AirPods with. Okay, well yep, that's about as straightforward as it gets. Can I just take this part, oh wait, I don't need to use this. Why don't I just put this on the, uh, the Apple watch band? Yeah. I don't know why they include this, but whatever. We're gonna ignore that and I'm gonna put this back on my watch. So, if you really wanna show off how big of an Apple fan you are, that's a look. So you can, you know, be listening to music on your watch, running sort of like in a super cool, hip Apple ad. And you're like, oh wait a minute, I wanna take a call. Alternatively, if you don't have an Apple watch, you can use this as a standalone accessory to make sure that your AirPods are nice and secure on your wrist. What is this? Is it, why is this all in Japanese? Oh, it's 2,680 yen. Oh, you actually got this in Japan. So it's a speaker for the switch? Okay. Um, really? So it's got a USB-C port on the bottom, which I assume you just dock a switch in, but it's also got a headphone jack. And it's also got a USB-C for power in. So with the speaker plugged in, I can drop the switch on and it will charge the switch, so that's nice. And then if I plug the headphone jack in, I guess we're going to have audio? Let me jump into a game and see. Oh, that's actually pretty loud. All right. So I guess if you're in Japan or you can pick this up for like 25 bucks, it works. I mean, it does exactly what it promises. It's just a little bit of a weird concept. Okay. The surface suddenly appeared and I have this mysterious white package. Not good, probably. Tap wearable keyboard and mouse. This looks really dumb. Oh wow. It's just straight up like a bunch of little like ring looking things. So you're supposed to put this on your hands and then it looks like these are all actually connected. So it's more like a glove. I legitimately do not understand at all how this is going to be a keyboard and mouse, but okay. So I am paired now let's see if I can actually type something. So, okay, it vibrated, but it's not typing. We're going to abandon the surface and try to use this on my phone. Whoa, okay, that actually does kind of work. So wait, hang on. So my first finger is S, wait, S U U U L L L I T, whoa, okay, hang on, wait. So two fingers, oh, whoa. Wow, you've gotta relearn the entire alphabet on where everything is. The way this works is it has accelerometers in each of your little finger ring things. So as I type a letter, in theory, it picks it up and it actually doesn't seem to be too far off, but you've gotta completely relearn where every single letter is. I will say, I kinda get it, but for $180, you'd better be seriously committed to relearning everything that you've ever learned about typing and, uh, you know, looking cool. Okay, the wired controller light for PlayStation 4. This is actually something we saw when we were doing Mystery Tech in Taiwan last time, and I really wanted to pick it up, but uh, Ken didn't let me. Now I see why. The idea with this guy is that it is a much smaller PlayStation 4 controller. So as opposed to having the sort of standard controls and especially the standard grip, instead you're gonna get something that's going to be a lot smaller. <laughs> All right, well that's a cable. But what we're getting here is a very, very unique looking controller. I mean, look at that. For way less than half the price of a normal PS4 controller, as long as you don't mind it being wired, and at least it's a really long wire. So what you're getting here is definitely a little bit of a different button layout. So we have our touchpad button, which functions as a single button, but we've also got our top triggers and pretty much everything where you would roughly expect it, except it's just much, much tighter. I will say, for my hands, this feels a little tight. Like I definitely sort of um, kind of got that claw grip going, but maybe okay. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah! I gotta say, I mean, it's actually an interesting little controller, especially if you're able to find it, and I'll do my best to find an Amazon link for the US here in the description. Actually not a bad little pickup. I think it's all just about as good as I hoped it would be. Okay, so this is a package from Dangerous Things. No, for real, I mean, it actually the box says Dangerous Things on it. This is a viewer submission? Oh, sweet. Wait, no, that's probably a bad thing, right? XNTI injection kit? What? I, is this a joke box? Cause this looks a little suspicious. Like the printing is like super low quality. Oh, 
Next level human augmentation. Oh, oh, I know what this is. Is it one of those things that you implant in yourself to like, it's like a little NFC tag? Oh no, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Oh no. Oh no, it's a syringe. <laughs> Yeah, before opening the sealed polymer bag, visit our instructions on how to inject yourself. Dude, no, absolutely not, no way. Oh, look at this, whoa. It's like a giant medical pad for when you bleed all over the place. Wow, so I've seen a little bit about these. The way this stuff works is that there's going to be a tiny little NFC radio and that if you're really serious about this kind of body hacking stuff, you can inject it into yourself. And so say it's like underneath your skin on your hand or something, you could use it to say, unlock your phone, or I guess unlock your, well actually what do they all they say? Yeah, like house key, computer, whatever the case is. But essentially it's like having an NFC tag inside your hand. Nope, 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 nope.